Hello and welcome to the Virtual Help Desk at Redline Controls. In this session, we will be discussing the basics of nonlinear scaling, targeting customers that own and operate our PAC series and IM series of analog input meters. An analog signal is based on level, whereas a digital signal is based on frequency or pulses. Some examples of analog signals are temperature, voltage, current, strain gauge, and process signals, such as a 4 to 20 milliamp or a 0 to 10 volt signal. Linear scaling of an analog signal is the most common type of scaling you can use to display a value different than your input. Nonlinear scaling expands that concept by being able to display unique units, such as logarithms, square roots, bell curves, and so on. Linear scaling is set up like two parallel lines, with a high point and a low point. Nonlinear scaling may have multiple points to fine tune your desired reading. In our pack series of meters, you may scale as high as 16 points. Our IM series of meters, you may scale up to nine separate points. Two tips to use before programming your meter is one, always start with your low point signal and work your way up. Also, make sure to double check your input low and high values so that they are where they should be. When performing nonlinear scaling on an analog input meter, there are two things you need to know. What do you have as an input signal, and what do you want to show in your display reading? Also, you have to make a choice in which way you would like to properly scale your meter. One way is the key method. This method should only be used if the operator knows his exact input values and display readings. The most common way is by using the applied method. This method is used by actually applying the input signal for scaling rather than programming in any values. Our example shows us having a flow sensor giving off a 4 to 20 milliamp process signal. Our meter then in turn needs to display a bell curve, whereas the low and high input point will represent 0% and midway or 12 milliamps will represent 100%. The following steps will show us how to plug in the proper parameters to successfully scale this meter. The first step is to select the proper scaling method, key or apply. The next step is to key in or apply the low input signal. In our example, that would be 4 milliamps. Next, in step 3, we key in our corresponding display reading for the low point, or zero. In step four, we key in or apply our second point input value. In our example, we would enter 12 milliamps. The next step has us key in the appropriate display value corresponding to our midway point display value. In our example, that is 100%. Step 6 has us key in or apply our high point input signal, or 20 milliamps. The final step is programming the corresponding display value, or 0%. Scaling is now complete. No math calculations. As long as we know what we have as an input signal and what is to be displayed, scaling can take mere seconds.
Once again, we at Redline Controls would like to thank you for using our help desk. If you need any further assistance, you can access our website at www.redline-controls.com for the latest news, new product information, technical specifications, application solutions, and much, much more.